censoring DIISA oral report. Take one. Well, I'm doing an oral progress report on censorship in the rap game. And most of us know that Eminem is now starting to become censored due to the, our, my generation uh, not liking what he put out 10 years ago, even though it was such a good song. I'm probably going to say it there. Crap. We all, we all know censorship, basically. I mean, we, our parents tell us that when not to say a bad word, right? They censor us. Um, and that's basically what's happening to the rappers of this generation nowadays. It's that, like, Juice World and Eminem, and don't blame them for Cardi B. Um, and there's a lot of argument to come out of this debate why people shouldn't censor rappers such as Juice World because he's so relatable to my type of generation where we go through a heartbreak, he has a song for that, and we can relate to it. It helps us get through a tough time. And you have people like who want to cancel Cardi B for making a song called WAP, which I can fully understand. You don't want your uh, child, that's the word, child listening to someone saying about WAP. So, there's such a big debate on it, whether or not rappers should be censored throughout radio, throughout streaming, and all in general just should be canceled. And this is where I got the idea because Eminem is now starting to be canceled due for a song that he did with Rihanna, who was a multi-platinum artist from 10 years ago on probably his best album since he started rapping. And I want to figure out a way and able to debate this because, yes, there are two sides. Cancel because you don't want your child listening to it. And just leave them alone. They're making music that we all can enjoy. And that's... Hopefully, I did this right. Um... Yeah. We... Um, I looked at all my revisions and, uh, the comments my teacher has put out, and I can understand where, like, he's saying, like, there's no really debate until I get halfway into the paper, and I'm thinking if I can take out and start where halfway is and work my way down, because it's starting, like, you get going once you figure out where you want to take it. So if I know that I can start from halfway and go from there, because I'm telling you what, halfway, that's when I started feeling a lot better about the essay. I decided to keep the first part because I didn't know what to do. So then if we start halfway, we can get somewhere and we can get a good paper. And that's what I'm hoping to do is get a good paper. I'm probably going to try and go back to New York Times because he couldn't find the... Uh, Articles. I'm probably gonna throw the links in because they were really good articles on why the radio had to censor WAP but was still playing it. And the radio host, talk show host, was saying, like, I was uncomfortable playing the song. And then Cardi B comes out of bed and says, Dude, I was so uncomfortable saying the word gushy. I was like, Ey. So, like, I, I don't know, like, it's such a debate to happen and i feel like there's more to it and i just haven't gotten there yet and i want to get there i want to see how far i can push this paper because it's something different i've always done like you know video games cause violence i've always done like shit college athletes get paid i've never done something with something i'm interested in now that i'm interested in it i want to do good on it like i mean censoring rappers that's kind of like i like rapping so, yeah, I'm gonna do my best at it. Oh my god, I think I failed this part. Oh.